Hey guys! Welcome back to a new video, guys. Uh, today we're doing something a little bit different. We think that we've probably bombarded everyone with all this information we've been sharing. So today we thought let's do something a bit laid back, a little bit fun. So what we have in front of us today is a few uh, unique Kiwi or New Zealand treats. So we've, we've asked some locals to share what their favorite local sweets, drinks, snacks are. And we thought we'd put a list together and yeah. give them a taste. Yeah. yeah. And we're super excited. Uh, in all honesty, we have not tried literally anything. Okay, except we have had a Whitaker's chocolate, but not this flavor. Yeah. And we once tasted the Allen P. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's been a while. So today we have the the sweet treats yeah. and so we'll taste each of them individually yeah and maybe tell you a bit about uh, what they are and what they contain and then just how they taste yeah. so we hope you enjoy and uh, thanks for watching thanks for engaging yeah. and thanks for coming back to our channel thank you <laughs> so Alan P not 100% sure how to pronounce it but lemon and per peroa uh, I, 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 I wouldn't have been able to say it any better. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But it says here, good lemony stuff. And from what we recall, it really is. It's refreshing. Lemony for sure. Sammy doesn't actually like carbonated drinks. Mm. His drink of choice is water. <laughs> um, mm. And if he says it's nice, it really is nice. So you get that lemony flavor immediately. Mm. Very subtle though. Mm. Not the kind of lemony that makes yeah. these guys go wild. <laughs> yeah. True. Very nice. Very subtle. Soft. Mm. I think what we also try to do is equate to something something in South Africa mm. because I think we've got a lot of South African viewers and they'd like to get a better idea of what yeah. we are having. So I think this one tastes similar to like a lemon twist. But the lemon twist is a much bolder flavor. Yeah. It's very, that one is a strong, potent lemony flavor. Yeah. This is very subtle, subtle. lemony flavor, right? The little sister. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like um, a, it's like a bit of a watered down lemon twist, mm -hmm. but in the best way. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. I so agree. that one, we give it a thumbs up. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe start with these. Awesome. What is this? This is uh, iced animals. Yeah. So this one we know nothing about at all. Not at all. It's animal shaped biscuits with icing. Hmm. So maybe like a zoo cookie? I think so. Maybe? I just didn't see the, the, the icing oh. on them on the side. So but oh. I think the shapes are all animal, so that reminds me of the zoo cookies back home for sure. That's interesting. Ooh. Seems to be three colours and weirdly off shaped animals but they're there. I wonder if the colour is a different flavour. Yeah, oh I've got a hippo what you I can't make out what this is. Oh is it the other way? Oh a lion. Ah, yeah, that's cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this is similar to the zoo cookies. Zoo cookies. Because now I see the icing on the back. Mm. Nice. The icing is a lot thinner mm. than the zoo cookie. The zoo cookie, it's like you can break a tooth when you bite through it. Zoo cookie is, uh, is, is, is too much icing. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it's too flavorful. Much. This mm. is really nice. I like the actual taste of the biscuit as well. Yeah. I'm trying to see if there's... We'll swap and see if we can oh, yeah. try the flavors different. Yum. Mm, same. Mm. So the icing is not flavor. Yeah. It's color. <laughs> for the nice. kids, I suppose. But yeah. yeah. I'm sure very kids nice. would go wild for this. Too much, yeah. yeah. Very nice. Another thumbs up. Mm. <laughs> this is Hopper Jacks. Um, so Bluebird is quite a popular brand here. Mm -hmm. So we enjoy the... Other chips. The normal chips. From our sources, we were told that these are iconic mm. and 
a childhood favorite. So. Yeah. And you see it's a proudly New Zealand made. Ah, that looks uh, good. Chips. Mm. One, one star health rating. Yeah. Really <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. I was expecting like a a ball. Looks like a crackling. Yeah, it does look different. Like okay. I'm just gonna show. Like this it looks mm. yeah, like crackling actually. Mm. I was nice. expecting like a cheese ball or something. That's good. That's good. Mm. Salty. Mm, it's like a bacony aromatic flavor. Mm. Tasty. Mm. I like it. I think mm. Zara will love this. Very much. Mm. I understand why they say kids enjoy these. Mm. What can you equate this to mm. back home? The flavor um, is close to a flings for me, yeah. but the but it's not, but it's harder than the flings, so yeah. it's not as soft. Maybe like as, like bubbles back home, but not quite bubbles. Yeah. It's a bit more crispy. Mmm. Mm. These are good. Yeah, very good. A bit salty though. Yeah, these are that's good. Mm. Uh, maybe we try the the Jeffers. Awesome. So these say Jeffers chocolate, a kiwi icon. Whether you roll them or bounce them, the delicious Jeffers must be the most fun orange chocolate ball ever. Ooh. Okay. Orange. Better. Orange fun chocolate ball. Mm. <laughs> and it says here it is a dark chocolate center. Ah, nice. And they're also and orange? See... Wow. Yeah, they're really orange. What? I was not expecting that. Ooh, that's awesome. Always a fan of a orange and chocolate combination, mm. but it's not bad. I like the dark chocolate inside. Mm. You can definitely get the the orangey flavor. Mm. It tastes like the Quality Street mm. uh, orange. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, good. Not my favorite though, but still nice. I like chocolate, honestly, in any mm. form. <laughs> if it's chocolate, it's going to win. Mm. Okay. Mm. Thumbs up. Let's do... This is interesting. LCM's. It's a Kellogg's brand, which is interesting. Mm. I only know Kellogg's to be associated with cereal. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a split sticks, and I think it's yogurt flavor. It's made with rice bubbles. Mm. So... Very interesting. It looks like a Rice Krispie treat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Should we share one? Yeah. Oh, nice. Ooh. It breaks apart like a Kit Kat. <laughs> okay, I see. What that says? Split sticks. Mm. I was wondering what that meant. Mm, definitely a Rice Krispie treat. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Oh, here's the winner. Mm. Yeah, these are good. These taste like childhood. Absolutely. Mm. It's soft, it's chewy, mm. it's chocolatey. These are dangerous to good. Yeah. Mm. Good stuff. Big thumbs up. Mm. <laughs> Let's get into this one. So, when we spoke to our friends, they said, any griffins? Or on its pack of biscuits. Mm. So I picked these. I heard that they're quite popular. These are lemon treats. Nice. It says creamy and sweet lemon delights. Who doesn't like creamy and sweet lemon delights? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> lemon biscuits are soft with some tea or coffee. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, this is the thing though. Looks like a salty crack. Yeah, I was expecting something like a lemony cream back home. Same. Like the baker's lemony cream. Yeah. It smells like the lemony Ooh, cream. Yeah. It does. But but it's like a savory biscuit. Mm. It's not a sweet biscuit. 
but the filling is identical to the lemony cream. Mm. That's good. Ooh, I like the salt. It's sweet. Yeah, I'm in two minds about it. It's like the biscuit doesn't quite complement the mm. inside, but it is nice once the salt hits you. Mm. It's weird because yeah, it, it it does actually taste like the salt, like a salty crack with a lemon filling. filling. Good stuff. But it is nice. Damn. It's a bit salty, mm. but I like it. I've seen some YouTubers mm. when they review snacks, mm. they take one bite. This is not that kind of channel. <laughs> we, we eat the whole thing. <laughs> one hundred percent. Good stuff. So. Next, we have a pack of chips, copper kettle chips. Don't we also have copper kettle at home? We have, we have kettle... Something? Kettle chips. Okay. But I don't think it's the same brand, but they are. I think the way they were, were made. Yeah. It's locally grown New Zealand potatoes. Or rather, it's made from locally grown New Zealand potatoes. Nice. And the flavor is wood-fired barbecue. Hmm. Mm. Sometimes these kettle chips hurt my gums, and like when you bite into it, yeah, it can be quite hard. Ooh. Yeah, it's like Lay's. Yeah. Mm. yeah, classic kettle. Yeah. Kettle chips. Ooh, that looks nice. Thank you. I always forget to wear my ring. Mm. Mm. So we know. Smoky flavor for sure. Mm. Or wood fired. Mm. Mm. Good, I like the flavor. I like the, the crunchiness as mm. well. Yeah. Very nice. Well seasoned as well. Mm. And the potatoes taste like they're good quality. They're crunchy. Mm. Very similar to Lay's, but you can taste it's a, it's a step up in yeah. terms of the quality. So good stuff. Mm. Very good. Okay, next ones we have here is the Pascal milkshakes. Of the last from the past. Wow. So we've seen these in all the stores we go to. Mm. They're very popular. Are they all vanilla flavor? Yeah, this one is all one flavor, but I saw you, you can get a pack with a variety. Fruity oh. flavors. Awesome. Mm. Made with real milk. Oh wow. Mm. Mm. Chewy and creamy. Mm. Step back in time with Pascal milkshakes. You don't even need a straw. Oh wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely chewy and mm. milky. Creamy. Lovely. Thumbs up. Mm. This is Griffin's. Shrewsbury. Is that how you pronounce mm. it? Shrewsbury? Shrewsbury, yeah. Shoe, Shrewsbury. Mm. Cookie bear biscuits. Oh, I guess they call it cookies here. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like... Um, What's that thing called? What's this biscuit called? In mm. the bakers. Yeah. In the bakers, yeah. Ooh. It smells like... Strawberry. Ooh. Yeah. It really nice. Actually smells Ooh. exactly like that biscuit that like we that can't that. get the name of now. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Too. Oh, it doesn't have the cream filling. The biscuit mm. at home that we're thinking of has the cream one and that the little strawberry in the middle. Mm. Same smell, just no filling, just the strawberry filling. Oh, that's good. I've seen that. In addition to this, the Shrewsberries, they also have uh, Griffin's Hundreds and Thousands. Oh, yeah. And they have the chocolate chip, which was also quite popular. And we were told to try, but we picked this one today. Mm -hmm. So there's quite a few to choose from from this brand. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Nice, but different. Mm. The biscuit is quite soft. Mm. Kind of like a shortbread, but not quite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the filling is nice. Very nice. Mm. It's sweet. It's a sugary. It's not sugary. It's sweet. It's good. It's sweet. The filling is sweet. Almost like stodgy. Mm. Mm. It's, it's almost a, a bit too wet. Yeah. Mm. It's not. It's not a crisp. 
break biscuit, when yeah. you bra- when you bite it it's like a soft mm. clayish vibe you know yeah it's like it didn't bake enough you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> but it's nice it's a pleasant taste yeah for sure so we've saved the best for last <laughs> that's what we've heard so we were told to try any Whitaker's uh, brand of chocolate mm. so we just took one that was on on special this one is the west coast buttermilk caramelized white chocolate so there's so many different flavors to choose from yeah i don't think we'll ever get through all of them as long as we stay here <laughs> but um this is the one we picked and mm. let's give it a try it's almost like new zealand premium chocolate even the way it's packaged nice. it seems it's like lint yeah it's like a lint equivalent back home it goes on sale quite often but it is definitely considered a more luxurious chocolate than the cadbury thank you yeah mm this one to put a print on it it's good So smooth. Mm. Oh my god, that's delicious. Mouth-watering white chocolate caramelized to deep deliciousness with the richness of buttermilk, produced in lush West Coast pastures. Mm. That's good. It's amazing. That's what I tell you. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I'm happy we saved this for last. Mm. <laughs> mouth in your mouth it's beautiful everything chocolate should be mm. there's still so much for us to try this is just like a very small taste of all the varieties there are mm. but uh, we look forward to trying everything and guys if there's anything we missed that you think we really should try out mm. drop us a comment down below mm. and in the weeks to come we could make it and another video on this and try a few more unique sweets and lollies and snacks yeah thanks for all your interaction and for for being part of our youtube family mm. we enjoy interacting and enjoy all the comments and uh, have a great day bye bye